Virginia is set to sign the state's just approved budget early next week. And when that happens, he will clear the way for an additional 400,000 low income Virginians to get Medicaid health coverage. Caroline Corrigan spoke to the Southwest Virginia lawmaker who changed his mind on this key issue and cast a key vote. That's right. In recent years, Senator Ben Chafin of Russell County stood alongside most of his fellow Republicans in opposition to expand Medicaid. But yesterday, that all changed. For years, Republicans in the Virginia General Assembly have held off a push to expand the state's Medicaid program over concerns about how to pay for it. But Senator Ben Chafin of Russell County said he couldn't vote no anymore. Uh, I came to the conclusion uh, for me in my district uh, that no just wasn't the answer any longer, that, uh, that doing nothing uh, about the medical conditions the, the state of health care in my district just wasn't the answer any longer. Chafin said he broke ranks with his party because of a provision that will require Medicaid recipients to work. They would have to seek a job, they would have to have a job, or they would have to perform some type of community service. And we also put a, a, a very effective kill switch on it so that if the federal funding went away, the program would, would end. Dr. Teresa Tyson of the Health Wagon, a free care clinic, says she sees firsthand just how many people in southwest Virginia go without health care. This piece of legislation is certainly going to save lives. I mean, there's 400,000 Virginians, and most most of those are going to be here, you know, in far southwest Virginia that will benefit from that passage of legislation. Jill McDonough says she may be one of them. She's a student working at the health wagon and she's worried about future health coverage. I have thyroid problems, I have heart problems, and now I'll be able to see the specialists I need to see as well as be able to afford my medication. I want to be here to watch my son grow up. I want to be able to take care of myself. The change will take effect January 1st. The expansion relies heavily on federal funding and Virginia lawmakers still have to answer some big questions about how the state will cover its share of the expanded insurance coverage. Caroline, thanks. And more reaction now to the Medicaid expansion. Tonight, Ballot Health issued a statement commending the Virginia House and Senate. A spokesperson said, quote, this budget ensures the federal taxes we pay come back to our communities and the new education and job training requirements will help more people find more work, all of which is good for the Virginia taxpayer, end quote.